Joining us now, Jordan Allott, the Senior Advisor for In Defense of Christians, the founder of In Altum Productions. You were recently in the Middle East. What did you witness there? Well, I had the chance to travel to the Middle East with a new organization based here in Washington, D.C. called In Defense of Christians. And we traveled to Egypt, Lebanon, Iraq, and Syria. And for me, there are two big takeaways from, from those meetings and that trip in general. Uh, the first was the need for awareness. Over and over again, we, and it didn't matter where we were, what country we were in or who we were talking to, but the same question came up. And that was, what is the West doing? What are Christians in the U.S. doing or the church churches in the United States or the media or our government doing to stand up for and in solidarity with the Christians of the Middle East. And unfortunately, we didn't have a very good, a good answer for We're that. We're not doing enough, are we? Right, and that comes back to awareness. Unfortunately, yeah. most Americans, e even if they're Christian, they don't know that there are large communities of Christians in the Middle East. They've been there for 2,000 years, and they're very vital as a, I would say, a voice of moderation in, in the mainly Muslim communities. Um, so that, that was one big point. And, and the second point was that these Christians, they want to stay in the Middle East. I think a knee-jerk reaction would be to say, well, they can come to the West, they can come immigrate to uh, Europe or the United States, but they've been there, their ancestors have been there for hundreds of years, and it's important that they stay for their culture, for their language, for their faith. And again, they're also a, a voice of moderation against the radicalization that's taking place there. Have you seen cr Christians helping Muslims in your travels? We, we saw a lot of that. There are a number of examples, great examples that were very inspiring. The Sisters of Mahdi, we were in Egypt during uh, when the, the Muslim Brotherhood were in power. And we met with the Sisters of Mahdi who would help about 100,000 mainly uneducated, poor Muslims every year. We met with the Sisters of the Good Shepherd right on the border with Syria and, and Lebanon who are helping hundreds of, of uh, mainly Muslim refugees. And another, another quick uh, story was a pastor, an evangelical pastor in northern Syria. We had the chance to travel over the border by foot from Turkey into Syria. We met with this pastor and his church. And they were dedicating their lives to helping mostly Muslim refugees who, were, who had fled from the violence of the Civil War. They were providing them with the basic necessities. Now, these Muslims and their children are a lot less likely to be radicalized because of that one-on-one -on -one personal connection that they've had with, uh, with Christians. And we have to remember one quick point. The same radicals that attacked us on 9-11 are the ones behind ISIS and these groups today. So the, the fewer people that, that get radicalized both now and in the future, it's not only good for the Christians and the moderate Muslims in that part of the world, but it's also good for our own national security here. It is what we are to do as Christians as well. You're holding a summit with In Defense of Chris, uh, Christians. Tell us about that. Well, In Defense of Christians uh, is, is focused on unity amongst Christians, m making the, the situation of Christians in the Middle East, um, I guess, making everybody aware of what's going on, and then advocating on behalf of those Christians. And the summit, and people can go to idcsummit.org to learn more about it, is bringing together religious leaders, political leaders, people who are interested in, in, in learning more and advocating on behalf of uh, the beleaguered church in the Middle East. The, the website again is IDC? IDCsummit.org. All right, Jordan Allett with the In Defense of Christians. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you.